Oh boy. Bell pepper, here we come. So a good striping video needs a good striping roller, right? You can see right here, uh, I kind of thought of it. Uh, about the same time I had some suggestions, it was kind of back a little far. So all I did was cut this bar off a little bit and it shortened it. Hey there, it's Pete with GCI Turf. I hope you're having a great day today. And check this out, I got two things I wanna throw at you right quick. Number one, CIA baby, Central Intelligence Agency. Just wanna take a minute and thank you men and women and everything you guys do. And hey, we appreciate it, we really do. Now number two, Mr. Dimitri Bundar. Now, I know that they got YouTube names and handles and stuff like that. Now, I don't know if that's your real name, sir, but uh, in no way am I trying to be disrespectful by saying that or make fun of you or anything. It's just a, it's a unique name. Um, actually, I think it's a very cool name. I don't know where you're from. I don't know where you live, but I got your comment where you wanted to see some mowing and striping. So this right here is for you. Now, I know you've seen these spots right here. I'm going to get to it sooner or later, as soon as I get some time. That right there is dead poor trivialis. Get with it probably next week and seed those areas. I know it's June, mid-June. You ain't supposed to throw grass seed down in, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'll show you how to do it. Now look, make sure you like, subscribe, and tell all your buddies. Got lots of yard videos to come. Got lots on the channel already. Let's look right here. Now these stripes ain't all that dark right now, okay? We haven't mowed, we, I haven't mowed in about six days because it was just been raining. I've been setting the yard up for a checkerboard striping video. You can see my lines going right here. You can see my lines going right there. We're going to crisscross it and checkerboard it up and then do some drone shots of it. So how'd I do this? About six mows ago is when I started. And you see my lines going this way. I mowed it three times that way, okay? Three times consecutively. See my lines this way, my, my crisscross? I've done the same thing. I mowed this way three times in a row, this way three times in a row, and today, I'm gonna double cut it, cross cut it, meaning I'm gonna mow this way, then we'll go right back the same day and mow this way. And that way it'll darken up both those lines. Now, if you're looking to pick up you one of those rollers, I've got a link in the description and there's a coupon code that you can save some money on it too. All right, so hey, that's enough chitter chatter. Let's get with it. If this is your first time watching me, thank you. I appreciate it. And hey, be sure to check us out at GCITurfacademy.com. I've kind of got an online course with some lawn care guides. It'll show you how to have a yard like this.
this isn't a real good view for advertisement, is it? Because I got three big old dead spots. Sorry about that. I'll try to get them fixed pretty soon. And again, another big shout out to the CIA. You guys are awesome. So, hey, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, and share. And look, another big shout out to my buddy, Mr. Dimitri. Dimitri Dunbar. That's it. Cool name, dude. You ought to be a movie star. Sounds like a movie star name. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. What the heck, man? We can't do a flyover without that big ball of goodness. The big ball of goodness is typically right there about this time of the day. You can see it kind of covered up by those clouds up there. Now, what does the sun have to do with it? Well, the sun's got everything to do with it. You see this white stripe going that way and this dark stripe coming this way? The sun rays reflect off of that and give it a much brighter appearance than it is right now when it's cloudy. Yeah, you can see the stripes pretty good, but when you put some sunshine on it, it's a whole different ball game. Check this out. <laughs> 